Okay, so um, here we are with the blazer. Um, there's been a few things happened kind of quickly and uh, kind of happened off camera. Um, my dad came into town and I was kind of messing around with this. And we actually did like a lot of dent repair on both sides of the back end here. We pulled these, we pulled this out. Um, there's a big crease here. I know it's not perfect, it's still a little wobbly, but we'll get to it. And then uh, at some point, we'll be cutting out all this stuff and repairing it, replacing it. Um, you guys saw me put the two new fenders on. The hood is back on because my dad helped me with that. Um, so right now, what I did was I sprayed the interior of this with rubbing alcohol or just... Yeah, I guess it's rubbing alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol, whatever. <clears throat> Just for my feel goods, um, just to know I can spray it in all the vents, I can spray it along the dash, I can spray it down in the heater, I, anywhere a mouse is going to make some kind of a home. Uh, so now I've got the hose out and my daughter Ashlyn is going to come out here and help me because the one thing that I didn't tell you guys before is that this truck is actually for her and I bought it for her to give to her for graduation and she's going to have to take over some of the financial responsibilities of this. Now, not to say that I'm not gonna help her, I'm gonna help her a lot. Um, I help her with everything, I'll be out here working with her every step of the way. Uh, but right now, basically all we're gonna do is hose down everything in here and pull the interior out. Um, because I have, well I actually have a new dash for it and I have new seat upholstery for it, uh, which was a screaming deal, only about a hundred bucks if you believe that. Uh, and I'm sure that they're gone now. I don't know. It was on brother's trucks. It was Holly. hundred bucks for the whole interior. I had bought the front seats first and then I thought, oh, I'll just leave the back seats. But then, you know, what if it doesn't match just right and stuff? And I hummed and hawed about it. And, um, my dad said, well, just I'll make up the difference if you want to order those. And so I decided to, and then I got on there and I paid 150 bucks for the front two seats, which I thought was a screaming deal. And then they had this whole seat set on clearance for 103 bucks. And so 110 bucks, free shipping, no brainer, let's do it. So it doesn't matter if any of this stuff gets wet, the only thing we're saving is the frame and so the frame and the foam there. And uh, we're just gonna hose it all down just to make sure that none of this crap from mice or rats or anything gets I don't think there was much, but just this is just precautionary, okay? Every time I get an old truck, I, I don't want to breathe all this crap that's been sitting in here rotting and festering and whatever else, mouth pee and poop and whatever. We're just going to clean it all out. We're going to take the flooring out. We're going to throw it away. We're just going to get the pressure washer out here. We're going to pressure wash the whole thing. And so there might not be a lot of talking to the camera, but uh, we'll bring you along for the ride. So here we go. And I... Hey, come over here and say hi to the camera. Just say hi. Hi. This is Ashlyn, my daughter. This is her blazer. We're going to get to work on it. Oh, oh, oh. 
good, but now it's... You want me to throw it away? Yeah, sure. There's no fast moving, so tossing around because that's good stuff. So. Okay. Yeah, okay, so what should happen here is this.
clean it up and patch it up as best we can and get it on the road. Yeah. You know, as cheap and as quick as possible. And, Pull the back and I'll grab the bottom and you can hold it out. with air in it because the pump it'll burn up the pump. At least that's what I've always been taught. So if you think there's gonna be any air bubbles or anything you just let it feed its way through. We're probably alright but Good 
thing is, is that this has a motor, it runs, it has all the interior. We got the covers for it for dirt cheap. You know, everything's like, in all reality, pretty good. As far as like I scored a pretty good tailgate, we got some pretty good fenders. You know. It's just this back part. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Well, it's this back part. Stripped the interior, pressure washed it, threw everything away. This is what we're looking at. Now the tailgate, I've got a better tailgate obviously. Um, but this is not good. It's not great. You know, I probably could patch it up just wherever it needs to be patched up. Um, you know, along with this rust and this rust and this rust and um, and then floors are getting crusty in here uh, floors getting crusty over there we got holes in the side uh, whatever you call that um, and then the rocker of course the rockers down here totally rotted out if you can see that um, I mean, can I fix it? Yeah, I can. Um, but if we start talking about floor panels and patching and hours and hours worth of work, in fact, let me walk you over to the other side here. So I already told you guys that I'm getting new doors for it. Well, used doors. Uh, all this rot, all this rot. Um, yeah, I mean, probably savable, but hours and hours of body work and I think I have a lead on a on a rust-free tub. And I might just end up replacing the tub and you know not having to do all of that and all of that and all of that and all of this and all of this. Now yeah, we did straighten out some of this stuff and it looks a lot better, but you know. If I can get a rust-free tub for five or six hundred bucks, then maybe that's the way to go. You know, or rust-ish free tub. Better than this anyway is what the pictures look like. So, I don't know, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do right now. Um, obviously fixable, but expensive and time-consuming. So, we're going to figure it out. We'll let you know. Music